As website owners and as service providers, Google gives us a lot of free tools that provide us with information and data so that we can make better decisions about our website. The only problem is that with each of these free tools, you have to log into all of these separate sites and accounts in order to access the information. That can be frustrating, it's time consuming, and let's be real, what happens is we just don't do it. So we are not getting all of this great, valuable, free information that we could on our website. So what I want to do today is share with you a way that you can actually access all of this information now from a single dashboard so you can put it to good use. And we're going to be doing that using the Google Site Kit plugin. So now you'll be able to access your Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google AdSense if you have it, PageSpeed Insights, Google Tag Manager, and even Google Optimize so that you can run A-B split tests. So let's take a look at how to get this set up in your WordPress dashboard, connect the account, and literally now within the next few minutes, you will have everything connected and all of this information and data in one place. Now I already have the site kit plugin installed, so we're going to go ahead and set this up. So this is how we're going to be able to set up each of the different tools from Google Analytics, Search Console, AdSense, PageSpeed, and whatnot. So we're going to need to sign into Google using the account that we have used to set up these accounts for the site that we're working with. So we need to grant permissions here for the plugin and continue. It has now verified us as the owner since we've logged in. We will click allow and we are already ready to go. So let's head over to the dashboard. So here we are in the dashboard now and you can see at the top here we have Search Console, AdSense, Analytics, and PageSpeed Insights. And we have already now connected Google Search Console. So as we scroll down here, now we can start to get some of the, the data here for that. And here we can see some of the queries for the site. We're getting the clicks, the impressions. So this is already starting to bring us in more information and we're not having to go into our Google search console account for that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to set up Google analytics. So we now again need to choose the account, grant permissions, and now we can make sure that we have the right property set up and the right view. So if you have set up a specific view for your data, you can select that here and we'll go ahead and configure analytics. And here we go. I mean, look how easy this is. Now we already have the data coming in for analytics. We can see everything right here. We got the search console data here coming in. So now what we can do is we can start coming over here to page speed insights. As you know, this is incredibly important. So we want to make sure that we are monitoring this as well. And because we've already connected our accounts, when I select to connect service, well, now we are done here. So now we can scroll down to the bottom here, and this is going to start pulling in our insight data right here. So here now it has already pulled in the information. You can see there's two tabs in the lab and in the field. So the field data is actually based on actual users experience. So we can see here what is going good for the site. We can see where we need to put some of our attention. And then we have a list here of different recommendations that we can use to get a better page speed score. And then we can go in here and it's going to give us specific recommendations and we can go through and follow some of these here. Now we can go over to the lab and and here, this is actually what they're measuring. It's not based on the actual users. And so their data here is different. We are not doing well in any of those in their controlled environment. So again, we have more recommendations that we can follow to make sure that we can get these scores up because that is so very important. So as you can see here in literally just a couple of minutes, we have pulled in all of this information. I do want to go ahead and connect AdSense because this site uses this a little bit, but they will be more so in in the future, um, but that's with another account, so I will do that later. Now, what you can also do to get more specific data without necessarily having to go out to your accounts is over here, you will see a Google search link in your navigation bar, and you will also see analytics. As you go into those, then you're going to see that you'll have more data here, especially as you go over here into the analytics section. And all of this is right here for us, so I already see some things that definitely need some work just by looking at this, and then we can go into our full analytics account if we want that. Now, if you want to connect more services because there is more that you can connect, we will come over here to the settings and this will show you what you have connected right now and you'll be able to connect more services. So if you want to be able to run some split tests, the AB split test here, you can use Google Optimize and you can set that up here. And if you're using Google Tag Manager, you can do that as well here. 
This is very, very important because especially as Google gives us all this free information, it is very, very valuable information, but because it is housed in different places, we have to log in separately to different sites intentionally, we don't necessarily get to do that as often. So now that we can log in directly right here in our website, be able to see all of this data right here on the dashboard, this is making sure that we are keeping this data in the forefront of our mind because this is the information that we need in order to be able to make better websites. So this is gonna show us what is working well, what's not working well, and then we can always click through into the other accounts, the analytics, the search console, if we wanna get more detailed information from here and that'll just put us right into that account where we need to be and to gather this information. So this is something I highly recommend that you do so you have all of this information right here and that you are using this on a regular basis to create better sites. If you do want to know more about Google Search Console, I have a full tutorial walking you through the absolute entire thing so you have a much better understanding of how to use that data. I will link to that below as well. But go right now, take just a couple of minutes as you can see to install Google Site Kit on your websites so you have all of this information ready for you right here in your dashboard. Thanks so much for watching. Any questions at all, drop them in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.